morning friends and welcome back. I know we've done quite a few planters. I'm just using this as an example for what you can do because guys, I found some rice paper that goes through your printer. So, you know, I'm just spraying this Americana spray on the inside of my planter because I want to waterproof it. So naturally, I will have the link down below for the rice paper that I used. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing while I'm talking about the rice paper. Now, the beauty about this rice paper is that you can print out any image you have on your computer, or you can go over to a site like the Graphics Fairy where they have tons of free printable items there. Now, one thing I will admit, I have a laser printer. Laser prints do not run. They are waterproof, bleed proof. I'm going to put a link down below for the printer that I use. However, if you don't have a laser printer and you have an inkjet printer, I'm actually working on a video for next week where I am experimenting with different mediums to see which one works the best to waterproof an inkjet print. And I had to borrow, well actually I had to ask someone to print something from their inkjet printer so that I could experiment on that because sometimes the mediums work really well, sometimes they don't. It may depend on which company you're using. So I will show you that video next week unless I can get it out sooner. And this will open up a whole new world for you because just imagine if you're making someone a shower gift, I have actually used their wedding invitation and put it over a glass plate and presented it to them as an anniversary gift or at the wedding with cookies on. In any case, they were so excited and very impressed to have this beautiful keepsake. So I'm going to show you how I did this planter, what I did to it. I did a transfer and decoupage over this, but I'm going to show you the decoupage part. I believe this was from the graphics fairy. By the way, I just turned this jar over on top of a tall spaghetti jar to allow it to dry all around. And so, you know, I'm going to have a link down below to these label papers, which you can also put through your printer. You can see that I put the copy on the shiny side up. This also fits through your printer. And I put the copy on the shiny side up, used some gel medium, matte gel medium I should say from deco art media because this just helps you avoid a whole lot of problems shininess sometimes if you use the wrong matte medium the background or the places where you applied the medium can look very shiny and stand out and we don't want that so I'm using the matte medium over this surface I'm just going to put the dragonfly print over this leave it to dry for a few hours and then I'm just going to simply pull that piece of paper away leaving the transfer behind by the way guys I'm just showing you this part because there are some new subscribers that haven't seen this these transfers yet also because every time I do a project like this where I do two different things on something people will write in and say I wish you would have showed us how you did that transfer or that first part of this first so I'm just going to put this aside to dry and I'm going to show you now first I'll pull this part away once it's dry just to show you how that looks but then I'm going to show you this rice paper which I'm really excited about so you can see you don't have to wet your fingers and rub the back of the paper away. You simply pull this away. If you're using a black image for your transfer, you can always fill it in a little if you need to with a black marker. Whatever color marker you need, you can use. And I'm just roughing up the pot a little bit. I'm moving a little bit of uh, the excess medium I have here. There's a few little clumps there. So anyway, I'm going to rough that up and age it a little bit. Here's the thing that I think might really interest you guys. I thought it was kind of interesting. I took this rice paper and put it through my printer and just printed this image out. So don't forget, you can print out any image you want, any image you have on your computer or something from the graphics fairy like I did. And here's what this rice paper looks like. You get a lot of paper 
it easily goes into the printer this didn't jam up my printer clog my printer at all I only use one sheet at a time I have other copy paper in there but I just took one piece I put it through the printer and I print this out I just wanted to stick with the simple black and white image that I got so far that would match the other side of the planter that I'm doing. So you can see how flexible this is. The fact that I'm using the laser printer means this will not run. I can decoupage it on here without any problems. And I'm going to use the napkin decoupage glue because it's a little bit thinner of a medium than the regular decoupage glue. So I'll be using the decoupage glue by Americana and I'm just going to tear away some of these excess pieces. When you tear the paper away it leaves a much more natural finish because sometimes when you cut it you can actually see that straight line. So here I am using the Americana napkin decoupage glue. I'm going to put a nice thin coat down there. By the way, if you're doing anything professionally with decoupage, if you're selling it at all, and you're interested in using your own prints, your own images, you would want to really look into getting a laser printer. I will put a link down below for the one that I use that I really like. The laser printers are a little more expensive and the toners are a little bit more expensive however they do last a lot longer and of course you don't have to worry about any smearing or bleeding because this is a permanent ink so I'm going to finish decoupaging this over this don't forget guys you can commemorate vacations weddings you can take pictures of your children your family you may have some older pictures that you'd like to print out and put over some type of surface to give as a gift or just to keep as keepsakes around your house. I've presented these before to people with images of their pets or what have you on them and they're always so excited to get something that's so personalized. It's a really nice gift for people but also nice to have around your own home. Guys, I am so sorry. My husband just came home and it's going to get very noisy in here and I have to switch over to subtitles. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're almost done anyway and by the way thank you for all of your comments and for subscribing and let me get back to subtitles thanks friends hold on bear with me